Welcome to Long Shadow Farmstead. I'm Daryl. One of the most useful skills that you can master on a farm is being able to tie down loads. You have to haul hay, you have to haul livestock, you have to haul any number of things for a farm. And in this episode, we're going to cover how to tie down static loads, loads with, uh, well, in this case, concrete forms but it also applies to hay or anything that's that's light duty, nothing that you'd use a chain for, of course. Uh, that's what this episode is about, so let's get to it. So now we've got the forms loaded on the trailer. I've got to take it back to the contractor. So we need to tie it down. The best knot to use for tying off, well, you can use a slip knot. That works just fine. I used to tie a bowline, but the advantage of a slip knot is that once you put it on a hook and cinch it down, it's going to stay on the hook so it won't fall off when you go to the other side. And what many people use, or what many people call a trucker's sheep shank is not. The trucker's hitch is what many people refer to as. It uses a slip knot and then the end of the rope is pulled completely through, which is a pain. Plus, this knot gets so tight and it's really difficult to get undone. So, I use what's called the trucker's sheep shank. And the way that works is you hook it under the hook, you reach under this loop that you make, and grab the running end, pull it up through until you've got some slack, put a double twist in here throw this through and then pull enough slack through that will probably hold on its own but I like to safety it so I take this bite and I make a half hitch over the top that's really secure now you cinch that down very tight and then put a half hitch and then another half hitch, and it's secure. And then we just work our way around. Sometimes one half hitch will work. Doesn't matter if it comes off, you can put it back on in a second when you're done. It doesn't take long. Put the knots you need on a load. The thing to remember is, the most important thing is to get the center of gravity of your load in front of your axle. Or you're going to have stability problems. That can wreck your vehicle. thing is to make sure that all of the load is tied and these, these 
these forms are very slick, so when you step on the brakes, you're going to want to slide them over. So it's a safe, the stiffest rope to put over the front of these to secure them so that if I have to slam on the brakes, usually you can accelerate gently, but you might have, you can't control how hard you brake. Or how hard you might have to brake. So we're at the end of the line. I've got quite a bit of rope left over. I'll show you how to how to make a true a true sheet shank to use up the rest of the line. First, I'm going to untangle it. This is similar to the other knot that we tied, except it uses a whole bunch. So you see what I'm, uh, the line should run in here, around, and then come out on the same side. So from here, we clinch the top of this, throw a half hitch in the standing end, work it over the top, pull it down tight. On the other side, you do the same thing. Work it up over it, pull it down tight, and then stick it through the center of this loop. That goes under the hook. Throw a single half inch, and then what's left, you can tie off with what I call a, well, it's called a uh, taut line hitch. Two half hitches on the inside of the loop, on the inside, and one on the outside. And you can tie that as a slip hitch, and then pull it down tight, and it'll stay right there. And just to keep the end from working in the wind, I'm going to wrap it around this a few times. And that's secure. I don't have to worry about that going anywhere. This is long enough. I can put a half hitch in that to make sure that's secure as well. Now they're both, both of these ropes are polypropylene, but this one's braided. And braided rope tends to stretch less. So it's, and this is also a half inch, whereas that's three eighths. So this is stronger and stretches less. So it's going, going over the ends of these to keep them from shifting forward. It's important when you tie a knot to dress it, which means take all the slack out, get it looking like it's supposed to. And the true sheep shank. Oh. Wrong 
direction. It's got to be across the front. Actually, I'm going to put it down here just to make it a little bit more secure. Double half inch because it's in and off, and then several half inches around the, the bundle. Now, Ross needs to ask me, where's that going? Where is it going? It ain't going nowhere. <laughs> the advantage of these knots, one of the great advantages of them, is that they're very easy to get undone. This is the true sheep shank, and I finish it off with a double half hitch, or if you look closely, it kind of looks like a clove hitch over the hook. And, and then I finish with a taut line hitch with a slip. And dig it out. It's very easy. Pull this, undo the slip, undo the taut line, undo the two half hitches, and then slack the rest of the knot, pull out the excess, take off the coils, and you have just a loose coil of line. The nice part is, um, as opposed to the, the typical trucker's knot with, that uses a um, uses a slip knot as the, the main component, this knot will pull very tight if you have a heavy load and a hard pull in a long trip. And by the time you get to the end, you're not going to be able to get that undone. With, you're going to have to use an awl and a pair of pliers to get it undone. Now this, this knot is the shorter version when you're at the end of a line or in the middle of a line when you're not trying to use up a lot of excess rope. Untied the same way. Untie the half hitch at the bottom. Sometimes a single half hitch will work just fine. And then slack it. Take the excess out here. And there you go. Very easy to get undone. Well, see you next time. Where is it going? It ain't going nowhere. <laughs>